What's up guys, King Racer here. <coughs> Today I'm back with a new video featuring some more major cars from 2019. Today we'll talk about the racing car range featuring various variety of racing cars from big muscle cars, from sports cars, Japanese cars, SUVs, pickup trucks, all kinds of cool stuff. We'll also take a look at those beautiful car heart and information. Coming right next after this. So business as usual, we're gonna take a look at the car first in the package and then we're gonna open it up. So first car is the Opel Adam R2, which is a little cool European hatchback car, followed by the Subaru Impreza WRX STI. A very cool casting, very nice to find that one. Next, Volkswagen Polo WRC. This one's also available in a nice Red Bull livery. Next, Honda Civic Type R in a nice gunmetal gray. New casting for 2019, this nice Porsche 911 GT3 RS. One's recolor in a nice white with gold wheels. Nissan Concept Vision Gran Turismo. Interesting, funky concept car from the Gran Turismo game. <coughs> Excuse me. Mitsubishi Concept. Another type of concept car from Gran Turismo. Mercedes AMG GT in black featuring nice blaze wheels Renault Alpine A110 it's one of the uh, Rally Monte Carlo livery new casting also for 2019 this nice twin Ford Mustang GT Coming next, my two favorites of the batch, Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat with the big hood scoop, nice majorette racing tires. The Dodge SRT Demon, oh yeah, this one looks sick. Black red with the Demon printed on the back. The Ford F-150 Raptor, two color for this casting. One white with orange, and we also have this green one with the black raptor and uh, some black accent. We also have this uh, Dacia Duster, not to be confused with the Plymouth Duster, not exactly the same vehicle. And last and not least, we have this very cool Land Rover Defender. So, there we go. Let's crack open the cars now. Okay, first one to be opened up. The Dacia Duster. This package seems to be a little bit more difficult to open up. As I mentioned in the last think, premium video that I did. So maybe this time I would just open all of them up and then show the cards later on but for now we're gonna just open this one up right off the bat so this is the Dacia Duster SUV I think this one is the cheapest SUV you can find on the world today with maybe a Tata SUV I don't know so anyway this is the information for you guys and there is the vehicle Nice presentation on this one, green, black, matte back. We also have some tail lights, a duster logo, transparent headlights, suspension on that one, this vehicle. And for opening parts, we have this hatch, which is supposed to open up. Here we go, a little bit more difficult. There we go. Shut nicely and overall pretty nice casting 
Next, Land Rover Defender. Oh, that one was easy. Let's get the card out of there. And with all this package, gonna go in the recycling bin at the end of this video anyway. Here's the information for you guys. If you want to pause that up. Anyway, what is interesting is the casting. So I think this one will have the opening hood. However, it does not open that much, but it's there. And if you try too much, you're probably gonna chip the paint over here. I really like the presentation of this one. Red, white, and blue. Remember a little bit of the France flag. Spare tire, if you know this is a British vehicle, which is kind of ironic. So yeah, pretty cool. And this one, a little bit of suspension. So, very cool vehicle. Next, we're gonna go take a look at those F-150. Pickup trucks. Almost drop it. Drum the card. There we go. Is there information for you guys? On camera, focus. There we go. Do, 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 do. And this one have opening hood too. There we go. Nice detail engine. And green. Forward. This one have a tow hitch. So if you want to trail tow a trailer you can with this big huge pickup truck same with this one here's the same information from the other card Raptor I like this one better than the green version to be honest I like the black wheels same opening features for this bad boy four and the only thing is even though it says Raptor on this vehicle this is exactly the same basic F-150 that they released in the premium range in 20 uh, in 2018 last year it was like a, a dark gray with the five spoke chrome wheels so it's a little bit disappointing than just reuse the same castings even though of using a, a new mold for the real Raptor but uh, anyway, the presentation is still pretty, pretty good. Like the tempo on this one, looks very cool. Up next, uh, oops, I dropped the Challengers. Let's take a look at this little hatchback car, which is the Hopel Adam. this casting quite a bit in some uh, major range the premium the street cars even though the other racing cars I think other delivery this one's the Opel Bank it says Adac Spito Sports in the blue marker here Ricard number 15 nice Opel logo on the roof Opel Motorsport in the back. A little bit in suspension on this one. No opening features, however. So, a nice presentation for this little car. Drop my camera. Next. This one was a very, very anticipated model when it came out last year. The, uh, Volkswagen Polo WRC rally car, especially if you find one with the uh, Red Bull livery. I think a lot of people go after that one, especially in Europe, when this uh, car is quite popular, I will say. Personally, I prefer the Subaru, but this one is also pretty good. There we go, this is the information for you. I'm gonna pause that up. 
And there's the model. So this one, WRC number one, Polo Volkswagen Motorsport. Very, very cool little model. I like the front with the transparent headlights, the Volkswagen logo. VW Motorsports on the windshield, front windshield. Painted black spoiler, also have a roll cage on it. And this thing is beautiful. Love this one. However, no suspension, so it's a little bit of bother. But uh, I have nothing to say else bad about this car. Next, Subaru WRX STI. This one was one of my favorite new major casting from uh, last year. Unfortunately, then found one all blue with the uh, gold rims. I hope I will eventually get it. But for now, I have the racing car version, which is also pretty good. So here's the information again for you. Here we go. There's a nice little casting here. Transparent headlights. This one has blue all over the front grille. Fog lights. Painted detail. And this one have opening doors open. <clears throat> this one's stuck for some reason. Don't know why. Here we go. Let's take a look at this interior a little bit closer. Man, even though those interiors will look so good with the stick shift, the steering wheel, seats, the dashboard. It looks you really have to open those matrix to fully appreciate the value and the details of them. And this Subaru has a little bit of suspension too. So you can take bumps no problem. Next <coughs> Honda Civic. Type R, it's not just a regular Civic. This one was also a very fan favorite model for the collectors from last year. This one came out in black, uh, in white, excuse me. And this year it came out in red. And now we have this gray version in the racing car range. There we go. This one have an opening hatch. However, you have to be careful because it might gonna rub the paint of the little uh, thing in the roof. Civic Type R customer racing study. Like the livery on it. Like the back, the tail lights look so good. And the front also look good with the transparent headlights as Major is known for. Nice set of wheels too, love it. And uh, overall, a very nice presentation for this car. Next, we're gonna go old school with this Renault. Renault Alpine. Here's the information for you. I want to pose that up. Here's the car. This one's a nice Frenchy blue. And my camera doesn't want to focus for some reason. There we go. I think it's corrected. This one features opening doors. Nice tail lights. Rally Monte Carlo. I like the bumper on this one. Nice interior. And uh, yeah, overall a nice classic car for the racing car range. Next, let's go get the supercar. Mercedes AMG GT. This one is quite a bit interesting. With the Maybe some people will not like it, but uh, I think it looks okay. Here's the information for you once again. So this one's special. It's black with the uh, 
silver roof, a red interior, transparent windows. This red interior is very, very flashy in person. Don't know if it shows well on camera, but uh, I like the tail lights on this one. This car also features nice opening doors, so it's pretty good. Also, I very like those transparent headlights, they look very realistic. Same wheels as the uh, Civic Type R, however, this one has the red chrome rim. So yeah, nice little car, once again. Uh, next, we're gonna go take a look at those funky... Uh, Funky concept models from the Gran Turismo game. I think they actually add a Gran Turismo series last year, featuring a few cars from this uh, video game. So this is the Mitsubishi, and this one surprisingly does not have any information in the back. It's just a different image from the casting. So surprise. And this one, uh, some people will like it, some people maybe won't. Personally, it's a little bit extreme for me. Especially for this giant wing on a maybe a front wheel drive car. I don't know if this one, even though it's a Mitsubishi, maybe this one's wheel drive. I do not know. And also no suspension on this car, no side view mirrors, no opening features. It's just... You know, basic wheels. They have done a pretty good details on the headlights. Or, I don't even know if they are transparent or a part of a grill. It's kind of difficult to say because they are a little bit small, but if they are transparent, it's pretty good. Nice tail lights too. But uh, anyway, let me know, guys, if you like this casting. Same for this uh, Nissan. Which is also pretty interesting. And this one, same thing for the uh, Nissan, nothing on the back, just a different picture. So, this is the uh, this is supposed to be the new GTR that will be uh, released in uh, 2020 or 21, I do not know, but maybe the next generation GTR concept model. This one says yes design on it. Number 23. No opening features on this one too, but this one features a nice wing on the back. This one has a 10 spoke black rims. And no suspension on this guy too. There we go. Next. Another supercar, this one's pretty good. Porsche 911 GT3. In a nice white color. I will say this one's a little bit more realistic than the funky chrome blue paint job that it was in the, uh, the premium car range. I did not find the red a premium car from last year. I was hoping to find one, but unfortunately didn't get one. I hope I will find it eventually. But anyway, this is a white one. Porsche logo, nice headlights as always. Black insert for the grill, part of the interior. Side mirrors, very good. Big, huge spoiler. GT3 RS emblem, tail lights. Goal wheels also have these uh, brake intakes on the side of the cars. The car here's the interior. There we go. Oh, yep, yeah. love my Porsche. And this one is pretty 10 out of 10 on the proportion, I will say. Now, let's go on American muscle car Mustang. And don't worry, this one won't eat any crowd everywhere.
Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Here we go. Is there information you want? And here's the car. Ford Racing School, BF Goodrich, number 01. Hey, this is the general number. Well, you got this. Mustang GT. Next, Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. Nice green collar. This one is a repeat from last year. If I'm not mistaken, it's the same livery. However, I didn't find it in store last year, so I'm quite a bit excited to find it this year. So this is the Hellcat. Nice headlights. Black painted roof. Uh, hood this one has the dodge stripes on the side features those nice majorette racing tires also have side view mirrors tail lights with dodge and nice opening doors with a nicely detailed interior for this casting and the last one from this today is the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Which is my favorite of all of these cars. Simply because I love my Chrysler's, as you know. Here's their information with the ridiculous power. And this is the casting, which is one thing is menacing it says demon in the back with the nice drawing demon here srt hood scoop transparent headlights nice wheels side view mirrors tail lights this one has a little bit of a spoiler in the back compared to the hellcat and this is the interior with nice opening doors as the Challenger Hellcat. So yeah, pretty cool. Love this car. My favorite out of the bunch. So that's it guys. This was the Majorette Racing Car for 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for more stop motion videos.